Good morning, grade 5. Our first lesson for this week is all about reading and writing whole numbers up to 100 millions. Are you ready? Raise your hand if you're ready. Very good. Now we proceed with the next slide. Here are the following objectives for you to accomplish. Visualize and represent whole numbers up to 100 millions. Read and write whole numbers up to 100 millions. And identify the place value and value of the digits up to 100 millions. But before we proceed to our lesson, let us first have fun together. I will be reading the first and two group of numbers and you will read from number 3 to number 12 later. Is that clear? Thumbs up if you understood the instruction. Very good. Now I will read number 1. 20,689. Say it with me. 20,689. Very good. Number 2. 30,597. Say it with me. 30,597. Louder. 30,597. Very good. Now, I want you to pause this video on the count of three and you will be reading from number three to number 12. All right? In three, two, one, pause this video. Very good. If you are done reading all the numbers, then we proceed with the next slide. Activity 1. Write the following in numerals. Using your printed learning material, I want you to write the following in numerals. Example number 1. 23,209. I repeat, 23,209. So all you need to do is to write it in numerals. 23 thousand two hundred nine so you need to write this numeral in your printed learning material since I have already started writing or answering the first item all you need to do is to pause this video and answer from number two to number five very good if you are done answering then we proceed to the next let us discuss below is a place value chart this will help us determine the place value of each digit of a numeral what do we call the chart below it's a place value chart one more time what do we call the chart below it's the place value chart very good now let me discuss with you about this chart kindly read this one very good how about this one very good how about this one very good now units thousands and millions these three are called periods what do you call them periods one more time what do you call units thousands and millions periods all right now I want you to spell periods what's the first letter very good how about the second letter very good how about the third how about the fourth how about the fifth how about the sixth how about the seventh very good now units thousands and millions are called periods is that clear raise your hand if that is clear very good now let us erase the writings here we also have this one read it very good how about this one very good how about this one mm -hmm. this this one this one this this and this 
Very good. Now, the words we checked are called placed value. What they are, what are they called again? Place value. One more time. What are they called again? Placed value. Very good. Now, let us erase the writings here. Let us read the question. What is the place value of each digit in 9,321,724? To answer this, all you have to do is to place all the digits inside the box. Starting from the right, write all the numbers inside the box. Now, let us do it. Using your pencil, I want you to put number 4 inside this box. Like this. The 2, put it in the next box. Like this. And the third, put it in this box, like this. Now, I want you to complete writing all the numbers inside the box. Okay, pause this video and write it inside the box. Are you done answering? Very good. Now, let us erase all the writings and we proceed with the next slide. Let us try to answer more questions. Number one, how many periods are there in the place value chart? Okay, I want you to look at the word periods with the arrows on top. Okay, so how many periods are there in the place value chart? There are how many? Very good. There are three. We have units, thousands, millions. So I will write three here. Okay, now I want you to read number two number three, number four, and number five, and answer all these questions. Pause this video and answer all the questions. All right, so if you are done answering all the questions, we proceed with the next. Let us try to answer more questions. Question six, what is the placed value of the digit 8? Hmm. Using the place value chart, where is number 8? Can you see it? Yes, it's here. Now, what is the placed value of the digit 8? The answer is millions. Now, I want you to write millions here. Is that clear? Very good. Now, using the place value chart and reading number 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, I want you to write the place value of the mentioned digits. Pause this video and answer all the questions. The value of the digit in a numeral depends upon its placed value. Identify the value of each digit in the given numeral. Study the example below. Now I want you to notice that placed value is different from value. I repeat, placed value is different from value. So in here, we will identify the value of the digit. Okay, so this number is read as 8,532,047. I repeat, 8,532,047. Now, looking at your placed value chart, I want you to notice the different place values. And we classify all the digits using the place values. Okay? What is the place value of this one? 
once, this dance, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. Now the value is different. Okay, so let us erase this one. The value of seven in this group of numbers is seven itself. Why? Because it's only one's digit. The value of four in this number is 40. How did that happen? All you have to do is to mark seven as zero. All right? That's it. So it becomes 40. How about the value of zero? All you need to do is to mark again 4 into 0. So it becomes 0. How about the value of 2 in this number? All you need to do is to mark everything into 0. So it becomes 2000. How about 3? All you need to do is to change 2 into 0. So it becomes 30,000. How about 5? Again, change 3 to 0, so it becomes 500,000. Okay, how about 8? You change 5 into 0, so it becomes 8 million. So that's how you do the value of a certain digit. Okay, thumbs up if you understood this part. Very good. Now, let's proceed with the next slide. Activity 2. Identify the place value and value of the underlined digit. You may use the place value chart as a guide and write the numbers inside the box in order for you to determine its place value and value. So we have here the place value chart as our guide. So I want you to use a pencil to write all your answers here so that you can erase whenever you have corrections. Okay, let us take a look at the first one. 557,888,021. So what is the underlying digit? It's 8. Okay, now for you to correctly identify the place value and value of this one, all you need to do is to use the place value chart. Let us write 1 here, and then 2, and then 0, and then 8. 8, 8, 7, 5, 5. Now, what or where is the underlying digit? It's the 8. So, it is here. Now, what is the place value? It's hundred thousands. Very good. So, I want you to write hundred thousands here. Okay. Now, what is the value? Again, if you try to identify the value, all you need to do is to make everything into zero. Okay? Turn all the other numbers to its right into zero. So it becomes 8, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 800,000. Very good. If you're done answering number one, then you can do number two, number three, number four, and number five. So all you need to do is to erase all the writings here. If you have, uh, uh, if you used pencil, okay, you erased everything. So if you're done answering all of this, then we proceed with activity three. Let us read the numerals up to hundred millions. The place value chart will help us in reading big numbers. So to read numerals, read from left to right. From left to right. So meaning you start here to there. Left to right. Starting from the highest period. Read the digits in the millions period as one number and say million. Then read the digits in the thousands period as one number and say thousand. Then read the digits in the units period. Thus, thus, we can say that 8 is million, 532 is thousand, 
and 47 as is. So we can read this, read this as 8,532,047. Now to write numerals, use a comma or a space between periods. This will make the reading of numerals easier. Okay, so if you're done with this slide, then we proceed with the next. Remember, in the place value chart, millions, thousands, and units are called periods. Each period has three place values. The highest period is millions, and the smallest period is units. The value of the digit in a numeral depends upon its place value. To read numerals, start from left to right. The word units is not mentioned anymore. To write numerals, use a comma or a space between periods. This will make the reading of numerals easier. Very good. Now, I want you to clap yourselves. Okay, so we proceed with challenge yourself. Using your printed learning material, I want you to write the following in numerals. And on the second part, you need to write the following numerals in two words. Very good. Congratulations for getting this far. I wish you good luck. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in Messenger or comment in YouTube so that I can answer all your questions. If you, if you do not know what to do, you may ask your parents to guide you in answering. But be sure to answer honestly. I want to see your writing, your own penmanship in the printed learning materials. Alright, grade 5. Let me see you next week. God bless and keep safe.